Mauro Ranallo alongside the fight professor Stephen Quadros ringside. We are set for the beginning of the welterweight contender tournament. Raymond Daniels of the USA against Brazil's Jonathan Oliveira. And this match is a prototypical tale of the tape. Uh, we've got um, the big number here is nine years age difference, but to, to me, Daniels is the elder, looks younger than, uh, than the two. And he doesn't end up on the wrong side of a spin kick. Oliveira could do well with low kicks in this fight. There are no elbow strikes permitted in glory. Limited clinching is allowed. Three judges seated at ringside score each bout using the 10 point must system. The winner of each round receives 10 points. His opponent, nine or less, based on the prioritized criteria. Number of knockdowns, number of clean scoring strikes, with spectacular techniques, number of clean scoring strikes with normal techniques, and degree of aggressiveness. Raymond Daniels went viral with his unbelievable knockout of Francois Ambang. Glory 16, Denver last May, over a million hits. Of course, Oliveira would not like to be on the receiving end of the Kamanaka's techniques. Oliveira from Curitiba, Brazil, a city in which the H2O has produced a lot of TKOs in combat sports. Someone needs two wins tonight for a shot at the Glory Welterweight Championship currently held by Bazooka Joe Valtellini. Let's go to the center of the ring and the international voice of glory, Tim Hughes, for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this tournament semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing at my left and fighting out of the black corner, this battle-tested Brazilian puts his unbeaten glory streak on the line. His professional record, 20 wins with three losses, 11 of those wins by knockout. At 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at 168 pounds, 76.2 kilos, fighting out of Brazil. He is Jonathan Malakira Oliveira. He knows his opponent fighting out of the white corner. He has won more karate tournaments than anyone on the planet. His professional record, truly impressive. 25 wins with just one loss. 15 of those wins by knockout. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters. He weighed in at 167 and one half pounds, 76 kilos, representing the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Raymond Real D. Your referee for this contest is Big Dan Mergliata. Veteran combat sports ref Dan Mergliata will oversee the first of our two semifinals in the welterweight contender tournament. Raymond, the real deal. Daniels, with apologies to Ralph Macho, he is the real karate kid, and Jonathan Oliveira. Looking to go to 3 and 0 in glory. Daniels looking to move to 3 and 1. The bell. And round one scheduled for three. Three minute rounds. And already the flashy Daniels showcasing his superlative kicking techniques. Daniels coming in straight with a sidekick landing. Getting clenched up by Oliveira. There's the back kick. It's going to be all about linear att attacks from Daniels and crazy angles. Oliveira. Walking them down inside. Low clean, kick. Clean, Daniels clean, with guys, a jumping right? knee. They hands smother hands each up. other. Like Oliveira. Box. Again from Curitiba's produced the likes of Anderson Silva, Vanderlei Silva, the Hua brothers, Jose, Jose Pelly, Landy Johns, the Vaunted Shooter Box Academy. But he has Nicky right Hammers in corner. his corner from the Hammers gym. Time, right time. Speaking of deflated balls. Yeah, Moro. Uh, just like the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, thank Well, the okay. NFL deflate game. You got me. Okay. It's too bad that this has happened ever in a kickboxing match, let alone this one, because it started off as such a, a rage. You tell me when you're ready. And okay. All right. there it is. Here's the problem. The knee was above the waist, but the shin was below the waist. 
Rapid fire right hands from Daniels as we resume action. Oliveira attacking the leg again on the inside with the low kick. Spinning back into the midsection. There's a kick from Oliveira to the butt. Yeah, Oliveira is trying to match the pace right now. Daniels, he may be a little bit emotional from that low shin kick. There's a jumping knee by Daniels. A frenetic pace to kick off this tournament. And again, you want to vanquish your opponent as quickly as possible and hope that the other semifinal goes the distance. And it's a bruising affair, but these two looking to prove each other quickly. Yeah, they're looking to get this thing over in round one. Oliver did land a good one two up against the ropes. Watson can't pull the head down. Midpoint of the Don't opening round. I don't think he quite understood that instruction because he speaks Portuguese. Has spent time again training in the Netherlands as Oliveira. There's a knee up the middle by Daniels, 34 years of age, again, has won every major karate tournament and title you can name. It's his second glory tournament appearance. Jump spinning heel kick attempt by Daniels. Surprise, oh. there's a spinning hook kick that knocks Oliveira to his keister. This is shades of Manson Gibson, the crazy man from Chicago, used to lead with spinning heel kicks against Muay Thai fighters. Daniels Lomas came to join welterweight champion Joseph Valtellini in that welterweight tournament in Japan in December of 2013. The tournament won by Nikki Holtzkin. Many people believe that Holtzkin, who is coming up in the second semifinal matchup against Alexander Stetsarenko, really is the best welterweight. Was injured, suffered a shoulder injury, has been on the sidelines from glory, but he's back tonight and he wants to face Valtellini when all is said and done. Now Oliveira touching up Daniels in the corner. Daniel's doing everything right so far with the movement and the linear attack and occasionally the hooks from behind. Action-packed opening round here in Virginia. Nikki Holzgen is the number one contender, and it's just a killer's row all the way down to number four, Murtha Gronhart. Alexander Stetsarenko is Holzgen's opponent here tonight at number five, and number seven, and number eight, Oliveira and Daniels. Holzgen was supposed to face Arter Koshenko. He was replaced by Myrtle Gronhart. Gronhart got knocked out last month, so he needed to be replaced, and thus, number five ranked Alexander Stetsarenko faces the natural coming up in the next seven. Final. Okay, jump back kick and that scored and look, Oliveira knew that was a good shot and there's this spinning heel kick upside the temple area. And I'm telling you, it's hard to train for a guy that's throwing all these whirlwind tornado kicks and everything. The bell in round two. Oliveira saying that this tournament by far the biggest opportunity of his career, training hard for it. Spent camp entirely in Brazil, didn't make his usual trip to the Netherlands, which was a bit of a surprise, but here now, no surprise, as he trips That's... down Daniels, but referee Mergliano will not rule it a knockdown. Uh, it, was a, it was a low kick, and that's what he needs to do, is land that big weapon, whether he catches in the knee or not, he's just got to go for broke. Knee up the middle by Daniels. Oh, spinning back oh, kick, oh. and that traps Oliveira to a knee! That's a knockdown because it did damage. It would have been a front kick and push him off balance. No, that hurt him. Therefore, it is a knockdown. He is a whirling the turfish. Raymond, the real deal, Daniels. Okay. So orthodox. His statement tonight is. Oh my goodness! Brutally move. You get knocked down three times in your turn of the fight. The fight is around a total of three times in the fight. Which three knockdowns, four total. Yeah, so if Daniels put him down one more time, the fight's over. 140 left in the second round. But that flying sidekick, it's a thing of beauty. It takes guts now. Bring okay. it up. That was low. You got to bring it up. Yeah, that's Here's the problem. He's throwing the knee, and he's not okay. sharpening the knee by keeping his heel to his, his rear end. And that's so the, the shin one. is bobbling down Before low, and that's what's catching him, him in the groin. The referee Mugliata warning of him one more time. He's going to be deducted a point. You get five minutes. Take your time. Has up to five minutes to recover, does Oliveira. See, that was 
Actually, the knee landed, landed a little bit low, too. Second one. Who's the point next time? Okay. Tremendous start to Glory 19. Glory kickboxing, a made for television sport, especially in the 21st century. And you are seeing why with the likes of Raymond Daniels and Jonathan Oliveira. Push kick from Daniels. Front kick misses. Body kick from Oliveira. Oliveira's really got to make something happen here. Right hand to the body by Daniels. Now finds himself in the corner, almost baiting Oliveira in. Sidestepping the kick by Oliveira. Box. Minute left in the second round, a spinning back kick by Daniels. Knee blocked by the guard of Oliveira. Another knee from Daniels, and he ducks underneath the sweeping right hand. That's and it. there it That's is. It. That's it. It's over. That's it. Done deal. And Raymond Daniels. It's over. The deal. Wow. Literally kicks his way to the final. And Raymond Daniels does it. Performance by the 34 year old Daniels, who improves to 26 and 1 again, his lone loss coming courtesy of the current Glory Welterweight Champion, Bazooka Joe Valtellini, who is watching with vested interest from his home in Canada. And he, even he has to be admired by what he just saw. He finished Daniels with a kickback in Japan. And he will await the winner of our next semifinal, which will feature the number one ranked welterweight tournament favorite, Nicky Holtzkin, Russian Alexander Stetsarenko. It's coming your way here at Glory 19. What a great finish using side kicks, back kicks, and spinning hook kicks. Everything that they told you 10 years ago, never do against a Muay Thai fighter. Daniels thought he could dominate Oliveira with his speed and reach. It was on display here. He's worked on conditioning. He focused on his kickboxing stance. This is exciting because it's something unusual coming into kickboxing because the style that Oliveira has in the past was the kryptonite to the Daniels style, but it's a who gets their first scenario. Daniels moving back with the knee. Oliveira chopping over the top with the right hand. And then there's the, the, the back kick, ouch. And he always throws a little jump in there because when you throw a little jump in there, foot isn't dragging on the ground. You've got more momentum. Benny the Jet Yurkid is used to end many fights with that move right there. And it was, man, I'm telling you, he just destroyed his body. I mean, back kicks are no joke. Coming into this tournament, matchmaker Cor Hemmers thought that Oliveira might have the hardest punch of all four turning fighters. But he was on the receiving end of those unorthodox and crushing kicks, those fight finishing kicks. And the fans here at the Hampton Coliseum are pleased with what they've seen thus far. The real deal contingent in attendance and they're on their feet supporting Raymond Daniels. Told us that he addressed the holes in his defense and led to the loss of Valtellini. He said that he can now see low kicks coming and has added low kicks to his repertoire. But it was those karate style kicks, Stephen, like you said, that, that proved to be the winning formula here tonight. And the thing was, he didn't wait. He was there first. He always landed his shots. He just was going to throw them when the guy was coming forward, walking right in for him. So Raymond Daniels moving on to the tournament final and he has his eyes on the prize and yes, while it may be the tournament victory here tonight, the big prize is the belt that is currently around the waist of Canadian Joseph Valtellini. He wants to win the tournament and he wants to exact revenge against the man who was to this point handed him his lone career defeat.
A scintillating start to the Glory Welterweight Contender Tournament here in Virginia. The final strike stats. And it was all about kicks. That's what won the fight for Daniels. 14 kicks landed versus four for Oliveira. And Oliveira was a crumpled mess at the end. And let's kicking techniques of Ryan Daniels that spelled the victory here tonight. With, with Daniels, there was that one hook kick which dropped Oliveira, but the other were coming straight in, like that back kick. And that was around the sternum. Devastating ball. Let's make it official with Jim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end with an official time of two minutes, 15 seconds of that second round. By way of the glory three knockdown rule for your winner, who now advances to the tournament final, Raymond Daniel. The Ray Daniels improves to three. Inside the distance, this one gives him the opportunity to vie for the tournament championship.